So the reason I'm wearing so much makeup for half ten on a Saturday morning is because I need my makeup to last me all day and then all night as well. I'm just about to do my hair for the day and then I'm going to head over to my sister's and help her prep for her party tonight. She's having a party for her birthday and she wants me to help her make some guacamole. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Hay fever is a bitch. And then I'm going to Louise Live, which is... If you don't know Louise from Spring Club Glitter, she has like a live show and she's invited me and Rich along to come and watch, so I'm so excited for that. And then we're going to go straight to my sister's for her party, so I'm kind of dressed for the whole day and evening and I'm just about to do my hair. I'm loving this eye look at the moment. I will talk about it in Thursday's video, but it's amazing, I'm obsessed. So yeah, just gonna use my straighteners here, sit in front of my mirror and do my hair. Hi guys, really sorry to quickly interrupt the vlog, it's Monday morning now, but I forgot to vlog this on Saturday and I wanted to really quickly tell you about some work I'm doing with the Teenage Cancer Trust. They have this amazing auction thing going on where they're getting celebrities and YouTubers to donate an item that they've worn like in the public or in a blog post or Instagram and donate it to this storage company called Boxman who are collecting all the items and then there's going to be an auction for those items and all the money will go to the Teenage Cancer Trust. So I wanted to quickly show you which item I am giving. I'm going to give them this hat from Whistles. I love this hat. It's in very good condition still. I wanted something which someone would actually want to buy, not like a smelly old vest top. And this hat is so cool. It's really flattering. And if you guys remember, I used it in a, put it in a blog post on Instagram, and yeah, I really like this hat. I am going to put this into the box, so let me just quickly show you. It opens up like this. Put the hat in there. Bye hat. You're going to go to a better home, and then boxmen are going to come and pick it up. I don't know exactly when the auction will be yet, um, but I will tweet on my Twitter at Lily Pebbles when it is and I will put the link to the website that it's going to be on down below because there might be more info there already so keep an eye out for that if you guys want a nice whistles hat the money all goes to a really good place so definitely get involved now back to the vlog my parents are looking after the kids this weekend because of my sister's party and I think they've just arrived mm -hmm. Bailey's here because he's staying he's having a sleepover aren't you have you been swimming is that why your hair's wet what's in there Oh, as you do. Our first task of the day is to go to the supermarket and buy all the food that we need to make for the party tonight. So we're just heading there now. We're in Tesco and I just spent about 10 minutes looking for a card for my dad. I decided to get this one which says, Dad was overwhelmed with all his tweets. Now if only he could figure out how to send one back. Because he's always asking me how to use Twitter. And then Jojo says she got the same card. Got the same one, not even from here. She literally picked up the same card as me. That's hilarious. We've done our Tesco shop and I'm just snacking on some olives. I'm trying to be healthy today. Well, not healthy. I'm trying to eat not so much gluten or none if I can. Because I had some weird reaction recently to a, past to a pizza and I haven't been feeling great. So I'm just kind of doing a little test to see how it makes me feel. No. We're gonna head back to Jojo's and make some guacamole. Jojo used to be a kids party planner, so she knows how to throw a good party. She's currently setting up a sweet Although this is bar. for adults, not for kids. I know, but... So there's a massive flaw of what you just said. <laughs> yeah, but it's still, it's still party planning. She's doing a little sweet bar. Little different sweets. And you've even, where the hell do you even get these things oh, that from? That was my lovely neighbor, Alison. Oh. <laughs> um, and a chocolate bags. fountain and sweetie bags. Wow, oh, they're cool, they're from Amazon. Uh, eBay. But they do do them in Tiger, and if I'd known that, I would have gone That's there. really cool. This is the worst day to try and do gluten-free. Look at all these sweets, it's amazing. Rich is setting up the chocolate fountain. I just opened the fridge to see if I can have a snack. Those look like vodka jellies to me. Mm. I asked Jojo if she had enough tortilla chips. I think that's about right, just to show you the size. They're that big. <laughs> We're now in town, and we got to Oh my god, my legs, Russell Square, tube station. <laughs> and it said 175 steps. In the lift there was a queue, so we took steps. Oh my god, my thighs, my legs are actually shaking. That was really, really hard. We're gonna try and find somewhere to have some food first before Louise's thing. So we're just kind of walking around, just starting to rain a little bit. Just walking through here, looked up, and you can see a man abseiling and down the side of this building. Drone. Wait, where's he gone? Oh my god, he's up there. Crazy, crazy man. And drone flying, clearly. We 
keeping it easy, going to Byron for a bunless burger and sweet potato fries. We went for the skinny burger, but then also courgette fries and fries. Whoops. Yeah, I'm a good burger. Are you satisfied? Yeah. Very satisfied. Courgette chips. <laughs> We're going to head over to the Bloomsbury Theatre now, which is where Louise is. Are you going to get a coffee? Store Street Espresso? Yeah. Go on then. Flat white. You want a flat white? No, you do. Flat white with soya milk. This place looks pretty cool. We're walking to the show and Richard is telling me about his dream, but I had to get my camera out to share. Tell us your dream. Oh, wait, this wait. Is embarrassing. Go on. <laughs> Okay, it's a dream, so it doesn't like, I didn't actually think of it, no, I did think of it. Yeah, you did, go on. So, it was like, we're in a meeting, this boardroom meeting, and it was like loads of people in there, and then I started taking joke, taking the mickey out of people in there, for some reason, and then this girl started chipping in, and I looked round, and it was Rita Aurora, and I was like, and then we just started getting on, and just being like, having banter with he said, each other. He said to me, we hit it off, him and Rita Aura. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, that was pretty much it. And then we went out partying, I think. <laughs> Oh my god. I love how you can walk through central London and just find an amazing church. Just just right there. We're going to the Bloomsbury Theatre and a, a little there, little fun fact. Shut up, it's so mean. <laughs> I'm joking. I Proud. once performed in the Bloomsbury Theatre. My school had a little jazz concert thing and I did a solo and I sung um um how's it, what's that called? It's called It's a Wonderful Night for a Moon Dance. That one, Moon Dance. I sung that as a solo. Had a few other solo bits as well. And it was pretty scary for a 16 year old to be on a big stage in a theatre. So that's my little fun fact of the day. Starting to see lots of young girls around. I think, Rich, you have no idea what you're in for. There's going to be a lot of screaming. Um, I should have brought earplugs. Not for me, for Louise. <laughs> Just in case that sounded really arrogant. Please welcome to the stage. Louise, <laughs> raining. We're like huddling under an umbrella, but I just wanted to quickly say how incredible that was. Who knew Louise was such a comedian? I've seen her do stuff before. And I know she's a hilarious person, but that was serious, like professional comedian stuff. I don't, as far as I know, she's never had improv lessons. You would never know. She is so amazing and funny. So proud of her. Went to say hi backstage afterwards. Also met lots of lovely viewers, which I was very surprised because I thought we had a very different audience, but that was really nice. Some familiar faces I've met before as well. We're heading back to the tube now. That was amazing. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was really funny. Really funny. We're back now near where my sister lives and feeling great. What a great way to spend my Saturday afternoon. But I know that now I'm like two hours late. I told my sister I'd be back for five, like five. I know I'm an hour late and I've got, I'm in charge of making the guacamole and she's really stressy about this party. So I know I'm going to walk in and she's going to like throw an avocado at my head and then I'm going to have to do her so makeup. Throw one back at her. Yeah, we found an avocado in the boot. <laughs> um, okay, so we are going to go home. No, go to Jojo's, make guacamole. I really need a wee and then get the party started, which if I'm honest, not really in the mood for a party. Still hanging from Wednesday night, but <laughs> let's do it anyway. Okay, back at Jojo's, very wet. She's stressing because she I told you she'd be stressed. <laughs> I have no makeup on, but I have. Just you look like you've got makeup on. No, I've got concealer. Oh, you look nice. You should just leave it. I just learned how to twiddle my hair like her. I told you, you could. It suits you. No, it, I have a wand. That's it. Rather than the straighteners. That was a secret. Obviously. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to make guacamole now. So I'm going to show you my little sweet bar now. <laughs> Here we go. Here we've got some sweeties. Mm. Marshmallows. And in here we've got a little pot of all these lovely things that we wear for photos. And this will be our chocolate fountain. Delish. And the cheese. Because if you hadn't have gathered, tonight is a cheese and chocolate party. <laughs> We've got speakers for the disco room. Oh my god, this is like a 13 year old party. <laughs> this is a 34 year old party, you do realise. <laughs> Toilet sign. Right, back to my guacamole duties. Okay, guacamole's done and it's in the fridge. Hummus, done, in the fridge. Cheese, crackers. Rich is making a fish finger sandwich. Definitely not gluten free, but it's okay. Jojo's curling her hair. 
and we're going to use these gold tattoo things that she's bought. She wants to put them all over. Can I show them my bargain dress? Yeah, this is her dress. Show the neck, it's nice. Where is Maxi? Where's it from? Miss Selfridge in the sale, 20 quid. Good find, good yeah. find. Tattoo number two. Show them the back. Oh. I'm tempted to get it done now if they did gold tattoos. This is all very blurry. But, oh, there you go. They look really cool. You're like Cheryl Cole. <laughs> look, how cool is that? Very festival chic in your own home. I've given myself a gold feather tattoo. So you know I've got my tattoo on the back of my arm, the arrows. I just popped down to um, <laughs> to Lal Hardy down the road. <laughs> and had a silver one. Munchin. We're putting the chocolate fountain on. Oh my god, it's going. Oh my god, look! Party. Thanks for coming, Keish. Have exactly, fun dancing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to finish vlogging here because when I go home, the kids will be asleep and I won't be able to vlog. Fun night all round. Um, we spent the whole night keep trying to keep Jojo happy. She was like, dance, dance. So we danced. Um, and I'm going to go home now. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Morning. My sister was annoyed with me because I left at half eleven, but lucky that I did because I was woken up at half seven by this monkey and his little sister who was staying at our house. So lucky I didn't go home late, isn't it? Not, Honey? Not brown, because this one's pink. Okay, does that mean you want me to tie your hair up for you? Yeah. Oh, Just getting them dressed. No. Just doing their hair, and Bailey wanted bunches too. Pretty. <laughs> what do you want done to your hair? Bunches. We're making pancakes again like last time because the kids love pancakes. Pancakes, the last bit of bacon and maple syrup. Okay, I have serious Sunday hair going on. After I woke up at half seven to make the kids pancakes, I went back to sleep and that was a terrible idea. Now I'm absolutely shattered. Um, I have not got time to wash my hair. I'm going to have to do that tonight. I'm just getting dressed because I think I need to just leave the house and get some fresh air. I'm just wearing jeans and a grey t-shirt and my denim jacket. And um, this bag, actually, which I wanted to show you guys, because it's so nice. It's from a brand called Olive Cooper, and it's just the softest leather. I don't know if you can see. It's got this cute little gold thing, and I love black and gold. We've come to the supermarket to get some food. We're having a little Father's Day barbecue. So we're just going to go in and get all the stuff we need. It's so busy. There's so many people out today because it's Father's Day. I don't know why. Rich is back from his huge bike ride. How was it? Tired. We went all the way to Box Hill and back. It's not that far. I don't really know where it is to be fair. 60 miles. Yeah. Well done. That's now we fun. have you can have a well deserved barbecue. Just cooking some food out here. What a little puppy visitor. <laughs> this is Fifi. Fifi say you have hi. to look at her face. Okay. Come here. Fifi is a Shih Tzu and a Yorkie mix. Hello, hello. Oh my god. <laughs> She's so sweet and tiny. This is the torture that Rich gets after a bike ride. <laughs> oh, Rich. Quite a bit of time has passed and I've washed my hair. I feel like a new human. Jojo just said I'm not allowing you to go out looking like that, so she offered to straighten my hair for me, which was great. Um, and we're going out tonight. We're going to a pub because I haven't told you guys but Keisha, who you know, is leaving. She's going to move to the other side of the world and it's just the saddest thing ever. We've known each other since we were four and I can't really handle it. If you follow me on Snapchat you would have seen my drunk karaoke snaps from last week. That was like a leaving thing for her and I was very emotional that evening. But we're just going out for some nice summery drinks tonight to kind of send her off so you won't be seeing her in my vlogs and it's really sad. I'm gonna miss her. Um, Rich is still recovering from his bike ride over there. Debs, can you allow to be in my vlog today? Sure. Debs is here because she's coming to the drinks too. Hello. Hello. 
and we've just been hanging out this afternoon and we're going to head to the pub, go for a little walk and that's the plan and Paul's going to come meet us, which will be nice. We're now at Keisha's and she's not ready so Debs is doing her eyeliner for her. This is fun to watch. What is that eyeliner? Does anybody know? No rimmel. Rimmel. Um, Debs is the queen of eyeliner flicks. Oh god, don't, because I feel so much. you are, look how good hers are. God, you have a very good eye, Keisha. What? Just, I, yes, I see why you're a model now. <laughs> Tell them. Don't even. Go on. Okay, Keisha loves this tree. It is, it was, it's it's quite a good tree. It's interesting. Why do you like it? She's actually taking a photo of it. Just to take with you on your travels. <laughs> The tree obsession continues. <laughs> We're leaving the pub and I thought before we drop Keisha home, seeing as this might be the last time you guys see her, maybe over Skype or FaceTime you might see her, but this is the last proper time. So, bye Keish. They love you on these vlogs. I love them. Have you too. enjoyed being a cameo role? Yes. Have fun in wherever you're going to live. I haven't told them. Just in case someone no, no. follows you there. I'm <laughs> joking. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's all. That's Keisha. All. Peace out. Sign it off. Oh. <laughs> don't make me cry. Before I take my makeup off and go to sleep, I have to end this vlog. So I just wanted to say I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm really, really sad about Keisha, but I'm just my way of dealing with it is just not talking about it because we had our little cry last week and I need to just move on with things um, and yeah I've got a fun busy week coming up and then I'm going away on the weekend and I'm going to be doing two vlogs while I'm away I think so I hope you guys will enjoy seeing that and I have another video going up on Thursday what's that going to be? I think it's a haul I think you're going to like that one. So I'm going to head to bed now. I'm going to go take off my makeup. I will see you guys on Thursday for my next video. Bye.